We are here to discuss about the computer network. In the computer network, we have basically two things. The first one is computer and second one is the network. Network is basically the interconnection of autonomous computers. Here we have two terms. First one is interconnection and second one is autonomous. So come to the interconnection. Interconnection means whenever we have any connected media, for example, multiple computers are connected with each other via some cable media, Ethernet cable, LAN cards, wires, these are interconnections. The second term that is autonomous. Autonomous means anything which can be automated, self-dependent. So let us take the example of computer network. We have four computers name as C1, C2, C3 and C4. Here C stands for computer and these all four computers are connected with each other, the Ethernet cable. So now C1, C2, C3 and C4 computers are interconnected via the Ethernet cable and they all are the automated. This complete diagram is called as the computer network. This is the example of computer network. We can use the network all over the world www world wide web internet all is the network these are the examples of computer network so let's talk about the types of computers how many types of network are there in the computer depending upon the size of network we have three types of network that is lan wan and man so lan stands for local area network man stands for metropolitan area network and WAN stands for Wide Area Network. So let's talk about the LAN. Whenever we have very small group of computers in a network that is called as the LAN. For example, any building, any lab, any college. This is all are the examples of LAN. We have specific properties just like small size, high speed, we have the speed up to from 10 Mbps to 100 Mbps in the LAN. So to understand LAN, we will take the example of multiple computers. Let's just suppose we have a hub. Now talking about the hub, hub is a LAN device which can connect multiple computers in a LAN. Again, hub can be divided into two parts that is active hub and the passive hub. So just leave that chapter, we will discuss here about LAN. Now, in the hub, we can connect multiple computers. Well, here we are taking the hub with the four ports. These are the ports we are giving the name as P1, P2, P3 and P4, where P is the port. Now, the next question come in our mind, that is, what is port? What is the meaning of port? Where we can use the port? Port is basically just like a plug. We can insert any main plug in the port just like say ethernet cable we have the connector of rg45 we can connect that rg45 connector in the port that's why we can connect the computer with any of the lan device just maybe the hub maybe the switch whatever so let's talk about we are taking four computers here c1 c2 c3 and c4 c stands for again the computer now here we have the four ports in the hub and the four computers. Now they are interconnected correspondingly with the Ethernet cables. We also call it as the LAN cables, the blue cable which you ever seen in the labs. This complete system where we have the combination of computers, all the ports, a LAN device and interconnecting cables is called as the LAN. These cables are of the Ethernet type. The connector used in the Ethernet cable is of RG45. So next type of network according to the size is called as the MAN, Metropolitan Area Network. MAN is obviously same as the LAN because we use the same topologies over the LAN as well as in the MAN. All connectors, all the devices are same but the main difference between them is only the size and only the area they cover. Well, the size of man is obviously greater than the lab. We can connect various buildings, various labs, various colleges, various computers over there with the help of hub and switches. Hub and switches all are the LAN and MAN devices. So let's come to the devices, interconnecting devices. 
Now come over the man. To discuss about the man, that is basically the combination of various lamps. So we are taking the same diagram and modify the diagram. And whenever we connect the multiple hubs with the help of a router, that is called the map. So let's modify the diagram. So again, we have a hub which contains the four ports. We have already taken the ports P1, P2, P3, and P4. That's why we are taking P5, P6, P7, and P8 in the next hub. Now here P stands for again the port, this one. And now we are going to take the four computers, again giving the name C5, C6, C7, and C8. Now these four computers are again connected with the four ports with the Ethernet cables. So now we have the two hubs, again with the four ports, saying the hub 1 and hub 2. When these two hubs are interconnected with each other via some LAN or MAN device, this is called the complete metropolitan area network. Now you can see a cross symbol inside a circle. What is that? That is basically a router. We have a new term that is router. Router is again a device that is used to combine various LAN devices. Router is a WAN device. Instead, it is used to connect multiple devices. It is a WAN device, not the LAN or MAN. Right? So we are going to continue with the next example for the WAN. Before starting the example, what is the WAN? WAN is the wide area network, which is used to connect various LAN as well as the MAN. Or we can say that WAN is the combination of LAN and MAN. That means we have both the properties of LAN as well as the MAN. We can connect multiple cities, multiple countries, all over the world with the help of WAN. In the WAN, there is no Ethernet cable. Only what we have, we have the router to router communication. For example, we are going to modify the same diagram. Just look over it. Now, for example, we have another router. Just provide the name to this router that is R1, where R stands for the router. Let us take another router, R2. Again, this router may contain various hubs, switches to connect multiple computers. I am taking only one connection, the only single hub. This is the hub 3. And this hub 3 again have the two ports. These ports may be connected with the computers. Maybe any two computers, C11 and C12. C stands for computer again. Now we have the two ports in a hub, that is hub 3. The ports are P11 and P12. These two ports are connected with the computers, C11 and C12 correspondingly. Now this hub is connected with the router 2. This is again the example of a LAN. You can see that. Hub 3 is a LAN. Hub 1 and hub 2 is the MAN. So we are connecting LAN and MAN with the help of two routers R1 and R2. So we are going to connect router R1 and router R2 with the cable. This is now the whole architecture of a WAN. So you can see that we have started with the LAN. Then we have connected two hubs. This is a MAN and here we have the WAN. So this is all about the networks, how networks are made. We started with two computers and now we have million and trillions of computers connected with each other. So this is all about the networks. Thank you.